everybody welcome back to my channel so today I have yet another try and haul I was actually planning on doing another video today and then I was like I had my second part of a huge Abercrombie order that I can't had or had made come in and I was like hmm I think I'm gonna do the Abercrombie haul instead because I want to share all these things they're so cute <laughs> There's so many cute things and this is probably going to be well this is going to be the last Abercrombie haul before we get into the holiday season here and then probably going forward here they're probably going to be mostly holiday content coming and try on hauls and things like that so so excited I already started seeing some of their like holiday Abercrombie stuff come in and I'm like ah. I can't wait um, but today I have a bunch of stuff that is so cute including this little top and I'm like so many other things so let's go ahead and also I kind of just like came up th with this idea the other day I think what I'm gonna do is I will do all these try on hauls on here on YouTube and then I'm actually gonna take a couple of my favorite pieces um, throughout the week here and share with you guys how I style them fully head to toe a couple of different ways so like if I loved a sweatshirt or a sweater or something or a jacket I'm going to share with you guys throughout the week on my Instagram how to style that piece a bunch of different ways so that you can see the versatility of the pieces because I had a couple people request like sharing it styled with my try on hauls and that would just take a very very long time and be a very very long video so I thought I would kind of share those snapshots on Instagram so make sure you follow me at absolutely airs and yeah so make sure you guys follow me there what else do I have that's it oh my gosh there's so many cute things I'm so excited let's get started all right so first up is this dark floral little short sleeve blouse and it does have a collar but I will say I kind of thought that it would button up all the way it's actually a v-neck and the first button goes here so I was actually wearing a bralette which I'm going to share next and it kind of showed a little bit so you definitely have to wear like I don't know kind of like a normal bra you can't wear like anything like cut like that I don't know. anyways but it does cut a little bit lower and I like the fit though I think it's really cute um, I have a dark floral top that has like a little peplum and I kind of wanted one to tuck into some denim which these denim are also from Abercrombie but oh, I just love it I think it's super super cute and again with like a chunky cardigan over it it would look so adorable next are these jeans I've shared these actually a couple times but I thought I would share them again they are the high-rise super skinny jean and this is the medium wash i love the wash of them they're actually to me they're kind of like a more of a darker wash but they have some like lighter in the front i don't know they're very flattering on i love i got a 26 short so they are a short length and they're like still a tiny bit long but they're not bad they're they're much better than the regular would be I'd have like a bunch of extra fabric at the bottom but they are very very high rise and I love them they're super comfy okay so also I wanted to share I got another one of these bralettes this is actually the one I was wearing um, and I changed out but I love these bralettes please Abercrombie make them in a nude color I would buy probably like 10 of them they are so comfortable so I like them because they are um, like they have like normal kind of like little straps on top but they're like that bralette and they do have padding in them you can remove them but the padding is so so light I don't like they I don't like bralettes like this with like so much padding I feel like I don't know it just feels like too much right there um but these have like very very light padding and I like that about them they're just so comfortable I just am obsessed I have the black um and I've had this little like pinky mauve one for quite a while now but they are literally my like favorite bra bralettes right now they're so comfy okay so next up is this little lace trim cami I feel like Abercrombie does lace trim camis like really really well they do tons of varieties and they have like every single color like ever imaginable but they came out with this one and I really loved the detailing right here it looked like very high-end and fancy and I loved this color so it's actually called blue I think but it's kind of like that slatey blue that's almost like a gray blue which I love and I just loved the cut of it and the fit of it um, I'm wearing a size small 
and it's really cute. All right, next up I bought this little sweatshirt and I got it in two colors because I saw it online and I was like, oh my gosh, I would wear that like all the time and I can't decide which color so I bought both and then they both came in and I was like, I can't decide still. I think I'm gonna keep them both. <laughs> they are so cute. So they are this like puff sleeve sweatshirt and this is the heathered gray or the lighter gray color. Um, it is like slightly cropped though. So it's not, I wouldn't say it's like crop cropped, but it's the perfect length to tuck in to a high-waisted jean. I love this sweatshirt. It is so so incredibly soft. Like I said, I love the details of like the sleeves. I got a size small again, and I also got it in the dark gray, which I'll share next. All right, so here is the dark gray color. I saw the little um, sticker there, but it's the same fit, same style, still size small. This is, like I said, the dark, like it's like a charcoaly gray. And like I said, I can't decide. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep both. Okay, so next up, actually, I have two different dresses, and this one I saw on the website, and I was like, oh, I love that color, and I just, I had to have it in my closet, and I have something to wear this to, so I think I'm going to wear it, but I just love the color. It's just so, like, fall, and the only thing is, I don't know if I need, I got a regular small I don't know if I need a petite small because I feel like it's quite big through here, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> you know, um, but I really love the button detail here. The sleeves kind of have like that little bit of like slouch or whatever. And it has like this faux wrap detail and then a slight little ruffle on the bottom. I just feel like it's really a flattering dress. The only problem, like I said, is it's a little big through here. If I went with a petite, I don't know if it'd be a little too short. Um, I'm 5'2 and it hits me about there, so I'm not exactly sure, but I really love it. I think it's so beautiful. It's so well made and the color is just so pretty. Okay, next up is a dress that I feel like is something that I will have in my closet and pull out every fall and still be in love with it. And I don't feel like it will go out of style. It's not like super trendy. It's something that I feel like I will pull out and be like, oh, I love that dress. It's so cute. And it is this flannel buffalo check little dress. Um, I love how this one is made. First of all, it feels like pajamas. It is so so soft. It is like so incredibly like flannelly cozy soft. Um, it has the collar and buttons. It does not button any higher than this though, just to keep that in mind. Um, and then it has like this little sash belt, which kind of like cinches it in. And then it also has pockets. I love it. I was like, yes, pockets. Um, I got a regular size small. Again, I'm 5'2", so that's kind of where it hits me. I feel comfortable with this length. I probably wouldn't go with a petite. Um, and you can pull these all the way down, but they have these little tabs here. You can kind of keep it up. I think with riding boots or over the knee boots, hat, oh, so cute. This will be like a classic dress for fall every year. All right, next up is this striped ribbed top. I kind of feel like this is a little bit more than your like basic t-shirt. Um, so it has this really pretty like ribbing on it and it's kind of like thicker, I would say, and like more cozy, almost like a sweater, but like not quite a sweater. I don't know, it's more like a knit and it's so comfortable and soft has cute little button details on the sleeves here and then I love the colors it's like a whitish with like a rusty orangey color which is very like very me right now I love all things like brown and rusty and caramely color um, and then it fits like that so it's a little it's not so long it is more like a regular length top um, and it is fitted so I got a size small and I think it fits really, really nice. I think this is a great layering piece with cardigans, jackets, and all that. And I just love the color. I thought the color was so pretty for fall. Next up is this cable knit navy cardigan. I love it. I have been wanting a good kind of navy cardigan. I don't have one. And actually the other day I was like, 
oh, this would look so cute. I had some outfit on. I was like, this would look so cute with a navy cardigan. And then I saw this one on Abercrombie and I bought it. Um, so it's so cute. It's like this cable knit. Um, it does kind of have like some open knit in places, but then like cable knit. And then it has really big, really cute buttons. Um, this is a size small if it's a little bit longer, but not super oversized. I just thought it was a really cute cardigan. It does come in other colors as well but I loved the navy and it was a winner. All right, next up is another cardigan, but I love this one because this is one of those cardigans that you can wear either as a top or you can open up the buttons and wear it as a cardigan. And it is this like kind of waffly knit cream cardigan. I gotta say small, it is cropped, so you definitely have to wear it with a high-waisted pair of denim. Um, but if you wear like a little lace trim cami under it, open it up, you can totally wear it with other things. And I love the sleeves. It has like that balloon slouchy sleeve that I love. I gotta say small. I do believe this comes in other colors as well. And it's so soft and cozy. Like there's absolutely no itch to this. It is just like warm and cozy like a blankie. Okay, next up is I bought two jackets and I am obsessed with them. They are so cute. And I just looked online when I before I filmed this and this one's like kind of sold out, but I'm really hoping they restock this one. Um it is a faux leather puffer coat and it does come in like a million different like not a million, but a bunch of different like textures or like different materials. So there's like a Sherpa one, a fuzzy one. There is another faux leather one that is black, um, but this is the brown faux leather one. And I'm obsessed, I'm literally obsessed. It is so cute. And I shared this on Insta stories the other day. I've worn it already like three or four times and I really got it like four or five days ago. So it is so cute. I love the fit of it. I got a regular size small. Um, and it's perfect. I just, I love the big collar. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, next up is this adorable chunky turtleneck sweater that I feel like they come out with a version of this every year and I love this color. And then I also bought it in two other colors, but they're not here yet. <laughs> I bought it in the cream and the dark gray because I wanted to like figure out which color I wanted most, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep this color. It's just like, I feel like it's so classic and pretty. Um, the only thing, okay, I've heard so many people, this has been like a very popular sweater. I feel like on Instagram, I've seen a lot of bloggers share it and every person has been like, it's so soft and so cozy. There's an itch. And I looked at the, like what it's made out of. There is 8% wool in it. But I have found um, with a couple of my H&M sweaters that have just like a little bit of wool, like 10% or lower, that the more I wore them, the actually the softer that they got and the less itchy that they've got. So I'm hoping that's the same with this one because um, there is like a slight itch. There's just like that like, like mm, I feel it a little bit, but it's not unbearable where you like put it on and it's like, this is scratching my body. <laughs> no. Um, so it has, like I said, 8% wool. If you cannot stand any wool, I would definitely stay away from this one. Um, but you can kind of fold it over here too. Um, just like a cute turtleneck sweater. It goes a little bit longer, which I like. I can wear this with leggings or skinny jeans like I'm wearing right now. And this is a size small and it's just a good, I feel like basic chunky sweater. All right, next thing I have is something I have been wanting forever and I finally went and got it. I have actually shared this jacket before in the suede version. So the suede version I shared, I think in a haul on here and I love the cut of that one. It is so beautiful, it is so perfect. Like the color is perfect, the fit. The style is really classic enough that I feel like I can pull it out year after year after year and it will look just like timeless. And they had an actual like black leather jacket of it. And I was like, I want one. I want a black leather jacket. I just, I never have had one. And I realize now that I would actually wear it quite a bit. And this one again, is just so classic looking. So I'm gonna back up so you can see it. It is this beautiful, genuine leather, black jacket. They do have a bunch of faux leather jackets if you're looking for a lower price point. This one is a higher price tag, but I actually feel like it's very like 
reasonable for an actual leather jacket. It is so soft, it is so buttery, it smells like so good. Um, it has little zipper details right here. Um, all the detailing I feel like is exactly what I wanted in a black leather jacket. It's not too motorcycly. It's not too detailed with a bunch of like belts or like whatever fringe or whatever. There's no like, it's just classic to me. And I feel like this is a jacket I will pull out year after year and it will never look out of date. So I love it. I love the cut of it. It's literally perfect. Um, this is the size small. I went with the size small. There is a little bit more room in there, which is good. So I can wear a little bit thicker of sweater. Um, but I love it. And if you haven't seen the suede one, oh my gosh, it's literally butter. It is the best suede jacket I've ever seen. It's the same cut and style as this one. I also got a small in that one. But you guys, they are the best. And if they go on sale at all ever, <laughs> you need to get it and you need to buy it. And it's so good. It's <laughs> just so good. So I'm so excited about this. Finally have a leather jacket, the perfect one. I knew Abercrombie would make it. <laughs> all right, last two things and then I will go. And you guys, I probably won't do another Abercrombie, ma like a major Abercrombie haul until all their holiday stuff comes out, which I've started to see a couple things pop on their website. So you guys will see, you guys will definitely see a holiday Abercrombie haul for sure for me, <laughs> like for sure. Um, but I got this cute little winter hat. Um, it's just a gray cable knit with like a little fuzzball on there. I love their hats. They're always really soft. And I had one a couple of years ago and my child ripped the like fuzzball off and it was gray. So I was like, I'm gonna get a new one this year. And it's so cute. And then I also got this cute little blanket scarf. I love the colors on it. It's kind of brown, gray, has a little bit of blush, cream. I just feel like it's really pretty and it's very, very soft and cozy and not too oversized. Some, some skirts can get a little like bulky. Um, this one's like a good size and weight to it. It has a little fringies, so. That is all you guys, that is all I got from Abercrombie. Make sure you guys like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you are not and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.